Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today the problem which we are going to see is to count the minimum steps to get to the desired array. So in this problem uh, you will be given a desired array and we have to reach to that desired array from an array which contains all the zero elements. Now to reach that desired array we can basically perform two operations only. The first one is increment operation and the second one is doubling operation. So in the increment operation, you choose one element from the array and you increment its value by one. So here you are uh, just performing this operation on one element and in that operation you can just increment its value by one. In the doubling operation, you can double the values of all the elements in the array. So you cannot double the value of uh, one element at a time whenever you perform the doubling operation you have to double the values of the whole array so in this problem you will be given an array with n elements and the value of all elements is zero now you can perform these two operations on that array whose all the elements are zero right now and you have to get to the desired array which con which contains n elements so the uh, the uh, initial array also has the n elements the uh, target array will also have the n elements uh, yeah so then you have to compute and return the smallest possible number of operations needed to change the array from all zeros to the desired array so we basically have to tell the uh, minimum number of operations which will be needed to uh, convert the uh, zero array to the desired array so let's look at a few examples to understand the problem better so in this uh, in this first test case we are given the target array as 2 comma 3 and its output is 4 so how are we getting this output so we start with 0 0 then we increment both the elements by 1 so remember that uh, the increment operation uh, can be done only on one element at a time so because we are incrementing the value of both the elements so uh, it counts as two operations then we double the array so uh, both the elements which have the value 1 1 right now so their value we are doubling and we can do that in one operation itself so the value becomes now 2 and 2 now we finally increment the second element which will be counted as one more operation so a total of uh, two operations here one operation here and one operation here so total of four operations so that is our output so that was the minimum possible operations uh, note that uh, you could have done this uh, you, you could have basically reached the desired array in five operations also uh, if you would have uh, incremented the value of first element uh, twice and the second element thrice but we have to uh, tell the minimum possible uh, number of operations so that is four now coming to the second example we have the uh, target as 2 comma 1 so the minimum operations will be 3 uh, how do we get the minimum operations as 3 so uh, we basically apply the increment operation two times to the first element and uh, once to, to the second element so that becomes 2 comma 1 now let's come to the third test case so you have an uh, target error 16 16 and 16 so the output is 7 how so we first of all uh, increment the uh, value of each element by one so that will be counted as three operations then we basically apply the doubling operation four times so the doubling operation will uh, double the value of the whole array at once so uh, the value one will become 16 uh, for all those elements and thus we will be reaching the desired uh, target array so that will be four operations and the total operations will be seven okay so uh, uh, let's look at how uh, we are going to solve this problem so uh, one important thing to note is that the task is to count the number of steps to get to the desired target array and not to actually convert the zero error to the target array we just have to tell the number of uh, steps which we require uh, that to the minimum number of steps so the idea which we are going to use is to follow the reverse steps that is we are going to convert the target array to the array of zeros so the algorithm will be like this so we take the target array first we initialize the variable result as zero so result will contain the total number of operations 
now if all the elements are even we divide all the elements uh, by two and increment the result by one so because we can uh, do the doubling operation so we are here doing the uh, reverse of it we divide all the elements by two so we do that only in case uh, we have all the elements as even and once you do that we increment uh, this uh, results value by one uh, then if all the element if all odd for find all odd elements so what uh, whichever elements are odd we make them even by reducing their value by one and for every reduction we increment the result by one so in actual problem statement we are allowed a increment operation but here we are doing the reduction operation uh, so that uh, and th that is basically done to ensure that we are doing the uh, reverse of it so finally we get to all zeros in the target array so uh, let's look at the uh, driver function for this uh, algorithm so we have an array that is the target array then we calculate its size and then we basically call count min operations which takes as an argument the array and its size and this function will basically uh, return you the uh, minimum number of operations now let's look at the function itself so you have the argument of target array and the integer n then we initialize the result variable as zero which will be which we will be basically returning after we find out the minimum number of steps so we run a loop uh, passing the value one which means that uh, there is no condition basically for till which point this uh, loop will run it will keep on run, uh, running till the time we break out of this loop or return from this loop uh, then we have a variable zero count which will basically keep a count of a number of zeros in the array then we have an index variable i uh, then we uh, run a loop uh, from i equal to 0 to n and then we check that if uh, the element at index i is odd then we break else uh, we check that if the element is 0 if it is 0 then we increment the uh, count of uh, this variable 0 underscore count so we are calculating uh, the number of zeros so th this we are doing to know that uh, at which step we basically have to return the value of this result variable which will be having the number of operations now if uh, 0 underscore count is equal to equal to n that means all the numbers are 0 so uh, we basically return the result because we have found the result uh, if i is equal to equal to n which means all the elements are even in that case uh, we run a loop and we uh, do a divide by two operation on all the elements and we increment the result uh, variable because we have performed one operation that is divide all the elements by two then after this we uh, run a loop to check uh, whatever elements are odd so for each odd element here we do a target j minus minus and then we also increment the result variable so in the end uh, we'll be basically having the correct result value where uh, the zero count will become n and then we'll result uh, return the result value so that is all for this uh, algorithm so thank you for watching this uh, video you can visit this link to find out all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and to also run the code yourself which we just discussed thank you very much